Hi guys and welcome to Strength Universe. In today's video I'm going to take a look at the very underrated career of the UK and Britain's strongest man Glenn Ross. Glenn was born on the 27th of May 1971 in County Down, Northern Ireland. Like most young boys he took an interest in sports and team games until finally settling on competitive bodybuilding with a dream of becoming a wrestling superstar. Glenn found that he had good genetics for putting on lean sinewy muscle mass and began competing in 1993, eventually winning the 1994 Novice Mr Island at a body weight of just under 100 kilograms or 220 pounds. Glenn was getting ready to compete at a 1996 Mr Universe competition, but this was in jeopardy due to the fact he'd put on far too much weight in the off season. He hated dieting and it was taking its toll on his body, causing horrific crippling cramping in his muscles and his body was numb at such a low body fat percentage. This, along with his obsession with food, made competitive bodybuilding intolerable. Whilst working as a chef and bouncer to pay the bills, he was invited to do a local charity truck pull and this sparked his passion for strength sports. He changed his diet and routine to bulk up in order to be competitive and by 1997 his deadlift had increased to 360 kilograms or 794 pounds. At this stage Glenn knew in order to compete against the top lifters of the late 90s he would need to be even bigger to match the weight of some of the athletes who were close to 7 feet tall and weighed up to 150 kilograms or 330 pounds. Although now married with two children, Glenn was training seven days a week, four days in the gym and three days on strongman events. He was squatting 400 kilograms, bench pressing 295 kilograms and had a standing military press of 195 kilograms. At the time, he was widely regarded as the strongest man to come from Britain. He was also the heaviest strongman in the world. In 1999, he won the IFSA UK Championship, Northern Ireland's Strongest Man and Britain's Strongest Man. Glenn would go on to qualify for the heats of the World's Strongest Man final in 1998, 1999, 2000, 2001 and finally in 2003. Unfortunately, while Glenn Ross was extremely strong, his emphasis on lifting heavy meant his mobility events were seriously lacking. This held him back in the cardiovascular demands of the World's Strongest Man competition. And while he would often win the static events, he would lose a huge amount of points on the dynamic events such as the loading medley and farmer's walk, which would ultimately prevent him from qualifying through to the finals. In 2004, Glenn took part in his first ever powerlifting competition, the Senior Irish Powerlifting Championship, where he totaled 1,000 kilograms raw with a 380 kilogram squat, a 240 kilogram bench press, and a 380 kilogram deadlift. Glenn later had ambitions of achieving an 1,100 kilogram total, but sadly never went on to achieve this. In 2005, Glenn was at the peak of his physical strength and received an invite to compete at the Arnold Strongman Classic, a competition with events far more suited to his static strength capabilities. Glenn finished the competition in third place, the highest finish by any Briton in the history of the Arnolds and only one and a half points behind the world's strongest man, Vasil Vestuak, after winning three out of the six events and setting a new Hummer tyre world record of 442 kilograms or 977 pounds. The following year, Glenn competed at the Arnold Strongman Classic for the final time. Having torn his patella tendon just a few months prior, he struggled throughout the whole competition and finished in 10th place. I'm 36 now and totally broken man. After the Arnold, Glenn would only compete a few times at the UK Strongest Man, winning the competition in 2007, 2008 and for the final time in 2010. In 2010, Glenn founded Daddy Promotions and the United Kingdom Strength Council, the latter of which still run the UK's Strongest Man and the Ultimate Strongman. He still trains, cooks and does charity and fundraising work. Glenn finished his Strongman career having won the UK's Strongest Man six times, Britain's Strongest Man three times and seven other national titles, 
a record that's very similar to another static beast, Eddie Hall. Glenn and Eddie both finish their strongman careers with a similar amount of titles. They both put an emphasis on static lifts as opposed to dynamic events. So let's have a look as they go head to head in a comparison. has now gone up to 175 just to try and sort out who will get first place. It's been very interesting, Stuart. The first time, as you said, a 170, can they do 175? Oh, did he hold it long enough? The referee must have said no lift. Better hold it for about two seconds. No, nope, he's blown it. Now the fatigue in those... British record on the line. He wants more, but this will be a great start. That brings us to the end of the strongman comparison, but because both Glenn and Eddie concentrated on static lifts, I thought we'd take a very quick look at their best gym lifts as well. Here Glenn benches 250 kilograms or 550 pounds. His reported best raw bench press is 295 kilograms or 650 pounds. In 2015, Eddie Hall did a competition bench press of 280 kilograms or 617 pounds raw. His reported best gym bench press is 300 kilograms or 661 pounds raw. Here we see Glenn squat 360 kilograms or 793 pounds for three reps. His best is reported to be 400 kilograms or 880 pounds, but that is with knee wraps. Here Eddie squats 345 kilograms or 761 pounds for eight reps. He's never done a one rep max, so it's impossible to say what he could get, but I expect it would certainly be in excess of 400 kilograms. Glenn's best raw deadlift is 400 kilograms or 881 pounds. This is Eddie's best raw deadlift, e.g. without deadlift suit, of 463 kilograms or 1,021 pounds. 
Glenn Ross dominated strongman competitions in the UK in the late 1990s and into the mid 2000s. And despite a 16 year void between himself and Eddie Hall, I think they're very closely matched. They've both won numerous UK and Britain's Strongest Man titles. Eddie's won the World's Strongest Man title and Glenn Ross has finished considerably higher at the Arnold Strongman Classic. Considering that Glenn Ross competed in a completely different era, I think it's incredible just how competitive he was in terms of static strength, even by today's standards. But what do you guys think of Glenn Ross, and how do you think he compared with other British greats, such as Terry Hollands, Gary Taylor and Lawrence Charley? Please leave a comment below letting me know your opinion and if you have any suggestions for future content. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video, please help support my channel by clicking like, sharing the video and subscribing. Thank you.